Hello everyone, it's me, Don Marco. I'm back again. And in today's video, I've come to explore Taiwan's cat village. Ever since I've lived in Taiwan, I've known about this village. Um, it, it was originally a mining town, and then loads of cats started showing up in the area that people dumped, or they were just stray cats. And when the mines gone, when the mines were gone. Uh, then the village started uh, looking after the cats and they started cat cafes and that and now there's cats all over and it's famous for being Taiwan's cat village so I'm gonna get myself over there now behind us there I don't know if you can see it behind this scaffold in here there is a cat bridge and this cat bridge leads you across the station and across the railway so I'm gonna get over there I'm going to do that now. I already saw two cats pass them. Uh, it took me a while to find a parking space. Typically in Taiwan, it's hard to park all the time. So I'm going to have to get on and uh, get cracking with this vid. So this is Ho Tong behind us there. This is Ho Tong Cat Village. Before I get started, I also just want to address one thing. I read online that some people have started dumping their cats here because they know there's already loads of cats here and people can't tell if there's someone, someone's dumped it or not. So I just want to say, if you're a pet owner, don't dump your cat. And if you can't be a responsible pet owner, don't get a pet. It doesn't matter what kind of pet it is. If you are an irresponsible owner, just don't bother following us. I'm not, I'm not that keen. All right, so don't dump your animals. Anyway, let's go and see the cats. Now, I'm going over the cat bridge. So inside, there's loads of uh, different pictures of little cats, look. Show you over here like this as you go over the bridge everything is cat themed the design of the bridge is a cat this is cat food and they've left it in the bridge there's a sign do not move the plate so all around this village I'm expecting to see little cat food put out and about for the cats anyway let's get over here just up these stairs up these stairs then we're in the village but the parking lot is on the other side that's why I didn't just end up straight in the village there's the bridge exit all right and then there's the bridge I just come over and when you come out the bridge this is the view you get this town Hotong it's located in a mountainous area there's a lot of famous little towns around this this part of uh, new taipei there's Raifang, the shofan there's whole tongue there's a lot of famous little towns so let's go and find some cats i've just spotted my first cat on this side of the train tracks and the wee man's got an audience, actually, there's two of them. Danny, how about how? Come on then. Shang Chi Ma. Ah, you little bugger. Danny. Hello, 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 Zibian. Well, Bupani. Wow. Bloody hell. There you go. You can have the spoon. Kayla. Gaini, man. It's for you. You don't want that bit, it'll cut your tongue.
Ah, uh, whatever pals here. The first cat I just saw is pure aggro, man. I think it's just like that because it's a little scared. Maybe it doesn't like people, but it wants to eat. So it kept whapping me hand because it didn't want... It wanted the spoon, it didn't want to be spoon fed. So it was like, yeah, have some of that. There's loads more cats up here. These ones look less aggro. That one down there was pure aggro, man. Kinda loved it. Kittens. There's cats everywhere. Uh, those ones weren't any aggro either. There's only been one of them that was aggro. My luck was the first one. Uh, because this is in a mountain area though, uh, if you're not really uh, good with going up and down loads of steps, I'd advise you not to bother coming here because it is a lot of up and down so far and I've just been here for like two minutes. It's quite nice to finally come and see what this village is like because it is pretty famous. It's only small and it's basically on the train track but apart from that so far it's full of cats as marketed <laughs> food and water put out by the residents all the food's been ate little shops over here look Cat postcards. If you're a fan of cats, it's a uh, cat heaven here for you. Tell me that new. I think it's a Mexican standoff here, like this one. This cat here looks well peed off, doesn't it? Every time you stop to look at one cat, another one just appears from somewhere. So I stopped to look at the the brown and black one, and then the beige one come up, and now this fella's come over here, look. Hello? Quack, quack. I found some random food lying around. So I give it to that cat there, just like that. Otong is just a quiet little village like, without the cats. Uh, I don't even think they would have any business here at all. Most of the cats are nice actually, apart from the first one I saw. So just be careful with that, especially if you come with kids and that. For me, I, did, I, I, I got a little shafright, but I wasn't that scared. Because I knew it was just like a warning bap. So I wasn't that scared, but some people were petrified. So I had to feed it, as you do. It's cut my finger a little bit like, tiny scratch. Kind of, it made us laugh to be honest. If I think if I had a cat, 
I think the one that was pure aggro like that, pure shung, would uh, make us laugh all the time. Found a cat I really like the colour of. It's such a nice colour, it's like white, black and like beige. Check out the colour of that. That's a great colour, isn't it? And he's just fast asleep. That black and white cat is absolutely hilarious. Anyone comes to give it anything and it's uh, ripping it out the hands and it's off like the clappers. Hello? I think this coffee shop behind us looks quite nice but there's another one just above my head so I'm going to check which one I actually like the most pick one of these two, have a sit down then check out the other side I think I forgot to take some money out. I might have just over 200 or something. That's enough for a drink, I reckon. So there's loads of coffee shops up this bit. Now I have a dilemma. Do I buy like a juice kind of drink or do I buy another coffee? Because I forgot to take some money out. I've got roughly just over 200 so let's just see what I can do uh, you know what I mean uh, the reason I forgot is everywhere in Taiwan usually has ATM uh, live and learn eh oh well I suspect every business here I'll take cash but uh, I'm gonna see if I can find any that'll accept their uh, line pay or Apple pay I highly doubt it but let's see this is the problem with relying on your card all the time or relying on here uh, you think oh well I've got the card so it'll be all right there's a cat souvenir shop behind us but it's got a sign here on the door saying no photo so I'm gonna go in and have a look. Everything you can think of in a, in a souvenir shop, they've got it, but with cats on it. That's what we call a cat souvenir shop. I've found so-called Coffee Street. It's like a row of houses converted into coffee shops. But as I said, I forgot to take my bloody money out. Typical, eh? So all of these are little shops. But unlike loads of places in Taiwan now, I guarantee none of them take any kind of pay other than money. People come here and they buy food and they walk around seeing the cats and then they feed all the cats. The shops, they sell loads of little food that you can give to the cats. So there's people down here feeding them, look. Cat on the wall. This cat's getting its gran on. like that doesn't it so this little village is quite small but it's got a big load of cat cafes up the top and I know I said I don't have much money but 
a lot of those cat cafes up the top were well busy anyway. I just want somewhere out and relax, so I'm going to go back down and check this one on the bottom. I thought when I was down over the other side of the village, uh, I thought this was kind of small, but it kind of goes up. So each layer you go up, there's a few more shops. It's not huge, it is just a small village, but there's loads of coffee shops. There's more coffee shops than anything else. So I'm gonna pick, there's a coffee shop down here, and there's a little shop to buy like a soft drink in a cat glass. So I don't know which I'm gonna choose because, mm -hmm. Like I said, I've got no money. I would prefer to have somewhere air conned. But as I go past and spy through the windows, a lot of the uh, air con places are packer. Pack, they're all chocker blocker. So I'm either gonna pick this little booth here with no inside seating, that's outside and I'll be melting my tits off. Or down here, I'm going to ask if these will take uh, any kind of Apple Pay or something, but I highly doubt it. So I need to just decide. It's been quite nice seeing the cats and that. It's an enjoyable half a day. I wouldn't spend any more than half a day here. Half a day, is that right? Had on. I think I've lost the coffee shop now. Was it one more dune? It made a cat post box, look. If you want to post a Taiwan, you put it in this one. If you want to post abroad, it goes in this one through the eyes. Thunder pure ninja cat. Look at it. There it is, there, look. Pure ninja. I just tried to go in this coffee shop behind us. Aircon one, but uh, no seats, so I think I'm just gonna walk around and go on the other side and get something and head back. There didn't seem to be seats anywhere, really, it's chocolate bloggers, so let's just walk back towards the other side, see some more cats, and see if I can get a drink on the other side. So I've walked around a bit now. I'm back at the cat bridge. I'm gonna go over the cat bridge, see what's on the other side, have a quick look around there, go back to the car and go home. That's the plan. This side of the village I'm on now, it's all about coal mining. So this was a big coal mining area. All these little air uh, buildings around. They would be people's houses and they would be where they would collect the coal and that. So I'm gonna try and see as much as this can but my battery's nearly dying on my camera now. So when the battery's done, it's done. I'm off home. I've come. This is the last spot I'm coming to in Ho Tong. And this is a coal transportation bridge. So this is the bridge they would use to get the coal from that side of the water, the other side of the water. If you think I sound knackered, I am knackered. Been walking up and down stairs since I got here. It's like a village on the side of the mountain basically, so it's up and down everywhere. So let's show you this bridge now. The view from the bridge is fantastic. There's an eagle up there if the camera can pick it up. The way eagles fly is brilliant up there. The Ho Tong village is basically on that mountain there. And then this is also Ho Tong, but the cat village is that side. Taiwan scenery is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. 
everywhere here is so green man once you get out the cities so this has been Ho Tong Cat Village I'm gonna end this video here because my camera's running out and I'm absolutely boiling I need to go and find an ATM no one takes card or Apple Pay or Lime Pay so this has been Ho Tong Cat Village it's dead peaceful here as you can see behind us the scenery is great uh, there's cats everywhere if you love cats you'll love it here it's only small so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time goodbye and cheers for watching